Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video from Logan the Tech Guy. This is a tech comparison video and today we are going to compare the laptops that come from Asus and Huawei. The comparisons are none other than the Huawei MateBook D14 and the Asus ZenBook 14 UX425JA. I'm going to cover the laptop that comes with Ryzen 7 3700U model from the Huawei MateBook D14 and the Intel Core i7 106 5G7 processor of the ZenBook 14. Before I go further, if you guys are new to this channel, do consider subscribing to Logan the Tech Guy YouTube channel. I make tech comparison video here and sometimes in infographic way and sometimes in voiceover like this one. I also do tech reviews and sometimes I explore the science and engineering topics too. So yeah, hit the little red subscribe button and help us to achieve the new goal of reaching 100,000 subscribers mark. It's a huge goal but with your help, we can do this. Let's dive in. <music> Are you looking for a good laptop that you can multitask and at the same time the one that is reasonable for you? Well, the Huawei MateBook D14 and the Asus ZenBook 14 is the one that you can opt for. The Huawei MateBook D14 comes at 699 USD and the ZenBook comes at 899 USD. Well, this is based on the Amazon price where you can find the links below. It's an affiliate link where you can purchase from it and I will get some commissions from it and this will eventually help Logan the Tech Guy to make better videos in the future. Speaking of the size, the D14 comes with a screen size of 14 inches with IPS pen and it comes with a screen to body ratio of 84% and 13 by 9 aspect ratio which is perfect for a viewing experience. The D14 also comes with a screen type of IPS with 1920 by 1080p resolution. The contrast ratio is 800 by 1 with a brightness of 250 nits. Its viewing angle is 178 degrees. Meanwhile, the Asus ZenBook 14 comes with a 14-inch display that is bright and clear four-sided with nano edge display with slim bezel that create a 90% screen-to-body ratio for more immersive viewing experience. This will allow a low-power 1W display which delivers an incredible 400 nits of brightness while the maximizing the battery life. The screen resolution is 1920x1080p, same like the D14, and it comes with a 16x9 aspect ratio with anti-glare screen. When it comes to weight, the D14 is weighing at just 1.38 kg. The streamlined design doesn't just look great, it means you can push the hinge to nearly 180 degrees. You will get the best view in the house, whether you are kicking it back or right at the edge of your seat. While the ZenBook 14 also comes in with a compact, thin and ultra-light all-metal design which makes it the ideal travelling companion. It is also the world's tiniest 14-inch laptop with a weight at 1.13 kg. Now, let's talk about the processor. The Huawei MateBook D14 comes with Ryzen 7 3700U model, while the ZenBook 14 comes with Intel Core i7 106 5G7 processor. It comes with 1GHz of quad core with turbo boost up to 3.6GHz with 6MB cache and it has 4 cores and 8 threads. When you compare both of these processors, the processor of the ZenBook 14 is much better in terms of performance. Now let's talk about the graphics. The Huawei MateBook D14 comes with Radeon Vega 10 graphics, while the ZenBook 14 comes with Intel Iris Plus graphics. A slight edge for the Iris Plus and it is 104% faster, which is about 2 times faster than the Radeon Vega 10 in the synthetic stats. The Huawei MateBook D14 is powered up up to 8GB of RAM and it comes with large capacity of storage which is up to 512GB PCIe SSD storage. It gives you the super fast storage so you can access what you need quickly and it comes with Wi-Fi 6 together with Bluetooth 5. While the ZenBook 14 also features Ultra 5 512GB PCIe 3.0 x 4 SSDs. It comes with Intel Optane Memory H10 with up to 8GB of RAM with the latest Intel Wi-Fi 6 with superb all-round performance together with Bluetooth 5. Memory-wise, sadly, you won't be able to upgrade the memory of these laptops as all of the RAM models are soldered to the motherboard. The 8GB of RAM of the D14 and the 8GB of RAM of the ZenBook 14 is what you have to live up lifelong. On the other hand, the storage compartment consists of single M2 PCIe 2 slots and there are dedicated space for SATA device for the ZenBook 14. When it comes to the ports, the Huawei MateBook D14 offers a 3.5mm headphone jack. It comes with 3 USB ports which is a single USB Type-C, a single USB 3.0 and a single USB 2.0 and it comes with a HDMI socket. Contrary to the current trend, the Chinese giant insists on maintaining the plastic ports and not replacing them with a single USB-C. I regret the absence of an Ethernet port but one must keep in mind that this is a notebook costing 700 USD and it doesn't come with an SD card slot either. 
while the ports of the Zenbook 14 it comes with two times Thunderbolt 3 USB-C with up to 40 gigabits per second and it comes with single USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A up to 5 gigabits per second. It comes with a single HDMI slot and also it has a micro SD card reader which is an added advantage compared to the D14. Both of these laptops doesn't come with a LAN cable slot and both of the laptops come with keyboard up to full size back lid and it comes with 1.4mm key travel and the Zenbook 14 comes with a touchpad. There's an advantage to Zenbook when it comes to the touchpad which is covered with a glass covered integrated number pad. The number pad makes things a lot easier when it comes to crunch numbers. Simply tap the touch icon to turn the touchpad into a LED illuminated numeric pack. The intelligent palm rejection and also the precision touch technology supports up to 4 finger smart gadgets. The fingerprint sensor is also in the touchpad. For the audio, the Zenbook 14 comes with Asus Sonic Master Stereo Audio System with Surround Sound Smart Amplifier for maximum audio performance, while the D14 comes with Stereo Audio System with Surround Sound and it comes with Array Microphone with Cortana Voice Recognition Support. For the webcam or the camera of the laptops, the Zenbook 14 comes with webcam which is above the screen and it comes with window hellos and with window hellos your face is your password. The front infrared IR camera recognizes your face in seconds and lets you to lock instantly and securely. For the D14, I forgot to mention that the fingerprint reader comes with the power button which is integrated together with it so you can power on and lock in securely with just one press. While the webcam of the D14 it comes with 1 megapixel 720HD so don't expect excellent quality here but it should be enough for video calls. The cam is hidden underneath an extra key between the F6 and F7 keys and it offers a frog eye view of the user in front of the laptop for the D14. Both of these laptops come with wireless sharing. The D14 comes with Huawei Share. For a mid-range laptop, the results of Huawei Share are pretty impressive. The one hop allows you to transfer files and images between your smartphone and your computer in the blink of an eye. I appreciate the ease of this feature. Just open a photo on your, on your smartphone, then simply drag it on your computer. The photo will appear instantly on the D14 screen. The reverse is also true. Open a compatible picture or file on your computer and drag it to your phone to retrieve it. While the Zenbook settles with the link to Windows feature for its wireless sharing. For the battery, the Huawei MateBook D14 is equipped with extraordinary 56 watt hour battery. So whether you're facing all day meetings or back to back classes, it will get you through on a single charge. And Huawei has mentioned this, that with the D14, you can watch 1080p videos up to 9.5 hours. Wow, that's impressive. For the Zenbook, the battery life lasts up to 9 hours with 1080p full screen video on YouTube in edge with dynamic plus better battery mode on with its screen brightness up to 60% and the Wi-Fi on. The fast charging, it can charge up to 60% in 49 minutes and it can last up to 22 hours of battery life. It comes with 67 watt hour 4 cell lithium polymer battery and together with the D14, it comes with a power adapter of 65 watt and together with the D14 as well, it comes with a plug-in type of type C. For gaming, fortunately both laptops can run games like Fortnite, Apex Legends, Minecraft, PUBG, GTA V, but make sure it is in a lower setting and expect more lag in the D14. For video editing, both laptops can handle video editing up to 1080p HD and for the Z14 you can run up to 4K but it takes time to render. And for online class and virtual meetings such as Zoom, Webex, Teams, Google Meetings and many more, the laptops can handle it well up to 3 to 4 hours of usage. Now, before I go to the pros and the cons of the MateBook D14 and the Zenbook 14, if you like what you're watching, a sub will be massively appreciated. Now, let's talk about the D14's pros. It comes with enjoyable keyboard experience, it's a strong productivity performer, it comes with hidden webcam with great screen, it comes with a SATA slot provided in it, and it comes with a premium design at a low price. While for the Zenbook 14, it comes with a snappy performance with pleasing display, it comes with sleek and solid build, it comes with truly portable design, and it has a very very solid battery life performance. 
For the cons of the Huawei MateBook D14, the USB Type-C port is occupied while charging, the RAM is not upgradable, and during online classes and while you are typing on the online classes using the webcam, your fingers might block the webcam. And I got these complaints from the students, lecturers and also teachers. While the cons of the ZenBook 14, it has not enough ground for texting game, it has an average webcam quality, it comes with poor speaker audio, there's no built-in jack and the RAM is not upgradable, same like the D14. Now, before I end this video, I would like to say that this video is made based on my hands-on usage on the Huawei MateBook D14 and the Asus ZenBook 14. The views, pros and the cons were made based on my usage on the laptops. There's no compensation and no copy approval provided by the manufacturers to me and there's certainly no early preview of this video was given to Asus. Logan the tech guy works for the viewers and not the brand manufacturers. So that's it for the comparisons between the Huawei MateBook D14 and the ZenBook 14. You can't go wrong with either of these laptops and of course it all comes down to how you use it. So what about you guys, which one of these will you go for? Let me know in the comments below and if you did find this video helpful and if you want to see more from Logan the Tech Guy then hit the subscribe button below and tap on the bell icon. It is always really appreciated and check out my other laptop comparison videos. I will catch you next time right here. Remember we are still in the middle of a global pandemic so take care, stay safe, all love and peace out.